Well, top of the evening, everyone, and welcome to this uh, very special War on Christmas and Thanksgiving uh, episode of Truth Noir. Uh, I'm joined here uh, once again for uh, I don't know how many, the how many if time, but uh, joined by Dirk Beecham, and uh, I'm always glad to have him on the show. He uh, he made up by not being dressed up for the show by wearing a festive hat, so... Um, and it makes it okay that I didn't shave or yeah, wear a shirt with a collar. It's all right, you know, you got that kind of, hey, fuck it all sort of attitude that we appreciate here. <laughs> it is the more. Wednesday <laughs> night before Thanksgiving, it's usually, yeah. So, um, so, yeah, man, now what there's, like, and so I, I think the... Um, the main the main crux of our episode that we're we're getting to is the this bullshit war on Christmas. You know that everyone oh, is uh, the fictitious war on Christmas. Yeah, it's so yeah. So you argue about this stuff, right? Because Starbucks made the drabby decorated cup because they hate the Jesuses, and you don't and you, and you talk about how ridiculous that is, but you say nothing about. Uh, Why does people, a worker have to come in on Thanksgiving or Christmas? Yeah, people have you know, to, you know, work through their holiday time with their families. Yeah. Um, I'm sure the people that are... For, for, for BS Industries, I mean, these are not... We're not talking about policemen or firemen or hospitals. These, of course, have to be open on the holidays, but... Sure. But, uh, you know, uh, like I said, they're, they're not doing anything important. It's, it's uh, like... I, I, my, my cure for this, I think every CEO should wear an ankle bracelet, have to spend at least eight hours of a Thanksgiving or Christmas at his own store before he can go home. And I bet you the next year there'd be nothing open. And the real war on Christmas is never addressed at all. Well, and it goes back you know. to a thing that you brought up last time uh, when we were talking about cognitive dissonance. And, yeah. uh, and you brought up the, the host of non-issues. You know, how, how you argue about... Thing and you argue it into ridiculousness yeah. while not realizing that you're not addressing the problem. Which or, is, or important problems. Yeah. That, that and, really hurt people or help people. Yeah. And, and I think that's what this, you know, this fucking Starbucks cup represents. Like, that's, the, while there is a war on, on Christmas and, you know, working people in general, it's not because of this fucking cup. It's because, uh, you know, it's because there's there's guys like that still laying in the street that you don't give a shit about. There's, uh, there's plenty of uh, veterans that stay homeless on the holidays that you do nothing for that aren't getting the By the way, who fought, they who fought those wars. In a country where there are more vacant houses now due to the housing bust a few mm-hmm. years ago, then there are homeless people. You could house every homeless person in America and not spend dollar one on new facilities yeah. or anything like that. And this still happens. That's the war on Christmas. That's what uh, that's what you should be getting amped up about. Not a fucking Starbucks cup. And, yeah. And yeah. anyone and any of your politicians who uh, you know vote down these measures to help people in need. Uh, you should be out in mass getting all pumped up and badass and throwing batteries at them over that. Yeah. Not a fucking cup. And it turns out the, that uh, the war on Christmas, that's not the only war that's going on right now. Just that? Uh, there's no, man. The uh, and, and no, it's not the war on terrorism either. It's the... Oh, this, your buddy. No, not this. Not no, this that's not your friend. Okay. There's also a war on the police, I've come to hear. Hmm. And, uh, and, and of course, you can see the, uh, the people waging war against that uh, <laughs> heroic po- police officer. They're, um, you know, unloading his quart-sized bottle of pepper spray on a bunch of people who pose absolutely no threat to him because he probably is compensating for having a tiny little pig dick. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, you like, fuck that guy. Easy. Oh, uh, I, I know, not, I know. It's not it's, all it's not, cops. No, 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 <clears throat> no. It's certainly not. Only no, it, most it's... of them. But yeah, so um, there, there is a war on Christmas, but it does not take the form of a Starbucks cup. No. There is no war against the police. So all of you apologists out there saying, oh, blue lives matter. Uh, while that is true, because all lives matter. Um, yeah. 
let's work on figuring out who the officers are that are not good and remove them from their position yeah. of authority. Like, you don't see the fire department, um, you know, when a, when a fire bug gets in their ranks and he becomes a fireman because he wants to light something on fire, you don't see the fireman sticking up for him no. and being like, no, that's our brother. They say, no, that guy is a fuckface and he does not represent the high ideals yeah. of uh, the firefighters at large. And it's time to start demanding that police officers do the same thing yeah but it is at this point in the show ladies and gentlemen after uh you know a little little bit of time away from it that we bring you a new fuck face of the week and his name is joel austin now uh you might be familiar with joel austin uh he has a very large uh ministry and he huge quotes a lot of scripture and he has a giant mega church that is able i believe it's in texas that fits like tens of thousands of people inside and uh and he, and he says feel good things yeah he, you know he, you, you go there and you uh, probably leave feeling all pumped up and full of the you know loving light of jesus or whatever um if you're worth 40 million dollars and you're flying around in a private gulf stream you know super mm. ritz business jet mm. um you're not using that money appropriately and um, I don't know maybe you could help make the world a better place with that 40 million dollars you certainly could try maybe if instead of having a mega church um, maybe if you built uh, built the Lord a mega homeless shelter and tried to uh, <laughs> tried to house 10,000 homeless people instead of just putting 10,000 asses in seats listen to your fuck face mouth speak nonsense <laughs> it might help i don't know it it's yeah. it sure certainly hasn't been tried yet maybe maybe we could uh, see how that works um he's rubbed you the wrong way well you know anyone rubs me the wrong way who has that kind of wealth and espouses the faith that yeah, they do and, 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 and they... pretty much acts against it happy thanksgiving to you all figure out what you're grateful for and cherish it I want to thank Dirk Beecham once again for coming on and uh, helping me get this uh, latest of the world's problems uh, uh, solved, I think, for once and for all. <laughs> and, uh, and wherever you're going, get there safe. Take care, everyone.